On July 6, 1982, Richard Baldwin was murdered by Crossan Hoover and Mark Richards, a crime which became known as the Pendragon Murder. Pendragon was the cult which Mark was the leader of. Now 36 years later, Mark is claiming to be a top secret space program whistleblower and was framed by the deep state for the murder of his friend Richard Baldwin. Now, I killed Mr. Baldwin. Mark stood right there right alongside me. So as far as him being in outer space, that's all bullshit. Mark Richards was planning on taking over Angel Island and he was going to, he was recruiting all of these, ki these kids to be his knights and that um, he was, and he never gave the reason why uh, Richard Baldwin was the victim other than the fact that uh, Mark Richards wanted his cars and money. The first hit I hit him, he was standing right next to Mr. Baldwin. The second hit, he was standing about two feet back. When I stabbed him in the chest, he was right next to me. And then when I broke my knife in his chest, it was like a surgeon in the hand me a screwdriver and said, finish him off. He never mentioned a secret space program mission to me. I would have questioned that, that's for sure. But no, I never knew anything about that. Three or four days after the murder, all of a sudden, he just wouldn't stop hugging me and went down on his knees and said, I could never ever live without you. You are my whole world. And he was crying and I said, what is going on? I said, what's the matter? He just said, I can't believe how much I love you. And would you love me no matter what? Yeah, he's not captain of anything. I mean, that's, that, that would be, I mean, if you've been locked up for a really long time and you're looking for something to do with your mind, then, then yeah. And he's in constant contact with the Raptors and they are now working, according to him, with our military. We're not saying Mark Richards didn't commit a crime here. because He, he probably, didn't. Well, okay. He's but, absolutely friend. With the comes to Mark Richards in particular, there can be no doubt that Carrie Cassidy has no objectivity. She's personally involved and invested in this story like no other. Absolutely convinced there is a secret space program. It may not be to the extent of uh, kilometer long battleships that we've heard about, but I do believe there's a secret space program. And I've got the documentation, interviews, and notes to back it up. And, you know, what you find with the UFO subject is there's a definite reality there. And there's definite government secrecy. Genuine whistleblowers are people who have, have given us the ability to do some investigation of their claims. And if they can't do that, they're not a whistleblower. Because we all look at this man who presents himself as this heroic, outstanding military man, and it's all a sham. When I looked at the facts of the case, when I, the best that I could, I just thought to myself, this guy's just schizophrenic. He has been out to space numerous times, which I find fascinating, and I know he's been like, you know, all around our solar system in our galaxy quite a bit. Man of many talents. And fly spacecraft, come on. What more could you want? <laughs>But then I could look at a story that Kerry Cassidy covers, like Mark Richards. Now, Mark Richards is a uh, guy that's in jail, and... Um, I've never believed Mark Richards' story so convinced me. Well, I, I've, just spent, I've just spent two weeks in uh, San Rafael um, collecting the information on him, and the, um, I'm making a little documentary on it to show that Mark Richards um, is not a secret space program whistleblower. He was part of a murder that took place on July 6, 1982, and he's saying that he was framed for that murder by the deep state. But when I spoke to the lead detectives that arrested him in 1982 and charged him, uh, 
that's not true. And then when I spoke to his... Excellent, Kevin. Excellent work. <laughs> and when I, when I spoke to his crime partner that had committed the murder for him, he told me that Mark Richards was stood one foot away from him as he committed the murder. So he was on the planet when the murder took place. And I've got all the court transcripts as well of what was said in the courts. You are amazing. Thank you very much for your work. And it's, it's a full story. And I'm not, I'm not against Kerry. I mean, if she wants to cover that story, she believes it's true. That's fair enough, right? But you have to do your research. And I spent two weeks in San Rafael doing the research, knocking on doors and even interviewing Mark Richards' ex-wife, uh, crossing Hoover's partner. And I just got in contact with the murder victim's sister, Richard Baldwin's sister called Susan Baldwin. And she was there at the time of the court hearings for both Crossing and Mark Richards, and none of it's true. Mark Richards was a fantasy writer back in the day, and he is now. Thank you for your work, Kevin. You're a really amazing guy. Well, you know, why did I do it? Well, it was, it was just to try to give us some context in the stories that are out there. Now, there's Mark Richards is one story, there are so many other stories. How many, how much disinformation do you think there is in the field? Um, I've always said, you mean of all the information could be? Um, we had, Ron and I had a friend come to visit us before he was going into uh, deep intelligence work. And he said, I won't be able to contact you, so this is your last chance, and I said, I think that of all the information there is, the public knows 1%. I think I know 1.5%. He said, that's about right. When Kerry comes to see you this week, I'm, I'm not against Kerry. This is not, you know, yes, we've got a disagreement right now, but you know, she's free to do what she wants and we're all at different stages. All, and what if I was wrong about Mark Richards? What if I was? But I've just gone with the evidence. That's yeah, it. Yeah. That's it. Um, because we've, we, this has been nearly two hours now. And I know we've missed out a lot of information, but there's loads of previous interviews that you've done on other shows that if people want to uh, continue to dig into the archives, it's all there. Um, well, I just want to thank you for allowing you me to interview you if you give me permission to do that and um, just thank you for the information that you shared as well okay and I want to thank you for the information on Mark Richards that is really very very good thank you thank you